I recently retired from the police force and took on a job as a housing solutions officer for okay. a local borough council. Um, basically, I deal with all the the renters who have given um, Section 21 notices and faced with homelessness and work on their cases and try and alleviate their situation or prevent them from becoming homeless. Right. Now, I knew nothing about the rental sector before I started the job. I'd always been lucky enough to be an owner-occupier yeah. since we were very young. We were lucky enough to be with that part of the generation. We, I think we bought our first house for £32,000. Yeah. does it all, really, doesn't it? <laughs> it really you know, does, yeah. diff- different world. Comp- you can't even buy a car for that now, can you? Right. So, literally, it's a, it's a case of... Um, it was all new to me. And I was immediately very shocked at the attitude that people will take on what is seen as an investment. Um, and as we're all told when we invest in things, you know, the, the value of your investment can up, can go up as well as go down. You know, you, you could take this risk. They're, they're not prepared to take the rough with the smooth at all. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, there's some very good landlords out there of course um, that are almost parental in nature, yes. and they would do nothing to see harm or... What a lovely way you know, of putting it. That's a really lo- yeah, it's a lovely way of putting it. Yeah, but what has struck me is losing a home. The only thing I've seen that's more traumatic that affects people is losing a loved one. You know, mm. I thought I'd seen trauma in the, in the place where people, you go and give death messages and things like that. But the stress that's caused by losing a home and the insecurity for the family and the children is just devastating. It causes so much. And then you've got all the added baggage on society that goes with it, the mental health issues that come from it. Mm. Um, you know, and we, we're living through a cost of living crisis at the moment that's been intensified for landlords as well by yes. the recent upheaval with the interest rates. And, you know, with news this week that interest rates aren't going to go down and, you know, lenders rise, let, um, making their rates higher again, all those um, uh, buy to let mortgages that are coming up for renewal are just becoming unaffordable for landlords and and, and, and are these the reason the is, is it is it is this is the main reason why you're seeing section 21 evictions is it yeah the, the landlords who just is, yeah, can't afford so they've made money for years yeah. or they've had quite a good deal for yeah. years and suddenly now here, they've had the smooth here comes the rough so they're out they're out of it they're out and and never mind the fact that that pulls the rug metaphorical and literal from beneath the feet of their tenants yeah, I'll give you an example. I mean, oh. the average landlord on the average property in my uh, sort of area would make somewhere between 300, you know, 350, 400 pounds a month on their rent, mm. uh, you know, on a, on a property. The way the interest rates have gone, the new mortgages, um, they're not making anything. 